Alright, hey Spartans, welcome back. This week we're going to be working on our overhand throwing. We've worked on our underhand throwing and racket skills already, so let's get into this. Alright, here we go. We're going to do our warm up. Coach Martin's actually going to come join us. I guess so we're going to get our stretches in. We always remember how long we hold our stretches. 10 seconds, that's right. Alright, guys, so here we go. We're going to start by going down touching our toes. Alright, here we go. Three, two, one, down, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, spread your legs out. Here we go. Reach down the middle, touch the floor. We're going to hold it for ten seconds. All right, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, here we go. We're going to stay with our legs spread apart, right? Here we go, hold it for 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. Next leg, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, guys, we're going to come up. We're going to work on stretching our arms. I'm going to take one arm. We're going to cross my chest. Notice not my neck. Put my other arm up. I'm pull it, pull it tight. We stretch our shoulder back. Here we go. In three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. Other arm now. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great job, guys. We're going to do arm circles to finish it out. We're stretching. Here we go. Make sure we spread out and we touch each other. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. We're going forward. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Let's go backwards now. Here we go. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alright guys, I'm going to stretch here. We're going to get our blood flow. We're going to play for 10 seconds. Ready good? Yep, ready. Alright, here we go. 3, 2, 1, go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Good job guys. Here we go. Jumping jacks. Do 10 of them. And 3, 2, 1, go. 1, 2, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey guys, just like yesterday, we went over overhand tossing. We're going to continue that today. Um, we do need, equipment wise, we do need a, a paper ball. If you want to use a paper ball, you can use a balled up sock. Or if you have something like a tennis ball um, or a ball itself, you can use that as well. Okay guys, but make sure that if you are using um, something other than a paper ball or a balled up sock, that it's not going to hurt any furniture, it won't hurt the wall, the floor, anything like that, okay guys? I don't want to have uh, something, you, you know, something that breaks. I don't want you to break anything, okay guys? But make sure that when we're done with it, we clean up and we make it easier on mom and dad, okay? So guys, yesterday we talked about throwing, overhead throwing. We talked about the cues. We did, you know, very little cues because guys, I know it's difficult. Uh, virtual, okay, but when we get back in person, we will go over again to go into more detail of overhand throwing, okay, guys? So, like Coach Rizzo said yesterday, you are going to have your arm down by your side, over the top, and release it out front, okay? It releases it out right here to the target. Coach Rizzo is catching over here, he's just going to get the back, but Coach Rizzo is about 15 feet away from me, okay? So, I'm going to have my arm down by the side, we're not taking any steps, we're going to keep our feet planted right now, okay, staying in one spot. I'm going to throw to Coach Rizzo. So I have my arm on my side, turn my shoulders, I'm a right, I'm right handed, so I turn my shoulders to the right, up, and release. Make sure that you release out front, okay? Since it's only 15 feet apart, or 15 feet away from me, I'm releasing more out front. If it was further away, I'd release further back, okay? To get more elevation on the uh, paper ball or sock, whatever you're using. Okay guys, so let's do it again. Arm down by the side. Bring it up, around, out front, just like that, okay? Now, we're not throwing too hard, guys, okay? We're just trying to get control, okay? We're trying to 
control where we're throwing it. We're not worried about the speed right now. By the side. Up. Release off the line. I strike to his chest. Strike where I want it to go. Okay, guys. Now we're going to put the step into it. Okay. As our arm goes back from our uh, side, as it goes back this way, that's when we step with the opposite foot. Okay. When you were throwing, if I throw with my right arm, right hand, it's just like underhand tossing. I step with the opposite foot. So if I throw with my right arm, I step with my left foot. So I've got Trizzo here, again, about 15, hopefully 20 feet apart. You don't have to have that, okay, it could be closer. But for our sake, that's what we're doing right now. Arm by myself, arm comes up, I step my left foot, out front, right to his chest, right to my target. Remember guys, I'm not worried about speed right now. I'm worried about um, accuracy. I'm worried about where I want it to go. Okay, let's do it again. Arm up front. Bring it up, around. Release out from my target, okay? So remember guys, the further back that you get, the further away from your target that you are, the further back you release the ball. So if I'm gonna go a little bit further, because you're just gonna back up, right? I'm gonna release, I'm gonna throw it, I'm gonna release right here, okay? Unlike if he was closer, I'd release more up front. So if he's further away, I'm going to release way back here, get some more air under it, so it gets all the way to, okay? Because gravity is going to fight that ball, that paper ball, that sock, whatever you're using, to push it back to the ground, okay? So you've got to get more air under it so it travels, I'm sorry, so it travels further, okay guys? So, when you start to run, you get to take it down, you can even start to the side of my left shoulder. If I'm right-handed, my left shoulder is going to be pointing towards Coach Rizzo, okay? Now I'm going to step, I'm going to start by the side, step, now bring that left arm up and then pull it back down. So, I bring that left arm up, the non throwing arm up as I step, pull it back right to just like that guys. Okay? So, I'm going to give you about three, four minutes. Again, if you want to pause that video, you can go at your own rate, you can pause it right now, and you go at your own rate for however long you want to do it, how many times you want to throw it, and work on those cues that we just talked about guys. Go ahead. Arm starts at the side, arm goes up, 
step. And I just missed that one. But what we're going to do is, guys, we're going to skip them all. Fix our targets, okay? So let's skip up here. We go all the way over here. Pick these two up. Pick this one up. Pick up my target. Kicks on the table. I missed the other two. That's alright. So we're standing there. Now we're back to our starting point, okay, guys? So what I want you to do is I want you to find three targets, have three uh, balled up pieces of paper, or three sock balls, or you can use sock balls and pick, uh, bought up a piece of paper. You can use either one. But guys, that's what I want you to do. For the first one, I want you to keep your feet still and just work on your arm movement. Don't step. Second one, face the target, okay? And bring your arms up. Step, our arms come up. Throw. And then the third one, you're going to turn your shoulder to where you're not throwing the shoulder. It's pointing to the target. Come up, step, throw and try to hit the target. Make sure you skip, retrieve your paper balls, your object that you threw, and to pick up your, uh, your targets. Okay guys, it's your turn. Again, you can stop this video anytime you want, go back and do any activity that you need to do at your own pace. But now that you've practiced throwing through your target with the three different throws, now you're gonna have freestyle. You can throw any way you want, okay? Make sure that you still use the cues so you can face this way, no step. Still face the same way, step and throw. Or you can turn where your shoulder, your lead shoulder, your non-throwing shoulder is pointing to the target and throw. Okay, guys? So I still want you to have your three objects that you're gonna throw, your three paper balls, or your, um, three sock balls, or your two paper balls, one sock ball, vice versa, whichever you want to do, and still have your three targets, elevated targets, okay guys? Now I'm going to give you, what I want you to do is I have one minute, okay, one minute to see how many times you can do it to make sure, make sure you do skip to go retrieve the objects and fix your targets that you hit, okay, but you're going to have one minute, see how many you get, then do it again and see if you beat that record, okay? Do it how many you, can, you can get, guys, okay? Go ahead. Tomorrow's lesson, Wednesday the 16th, will be on Schoology as well as our YouTube page. We hope you guys enjoy it and have a great day.